there is nothing like reading a good book on a beach or under the shade of a favorite tree, whether you're in the mood for some fiction or nonfiction. Indigo Books and Music's Heather Reisman is here to serve up a smorgasbord of the season's best. You're actually very particularly excited about this group that oh you've Oh my gosh. In. Right now, there are the most incredible books out to read. I am excited to share them wow. with you. Really great reading for this okay, summer. let's get started. Okay. Red Notice is the most astounding true story about a young man who went to Russia just when Putin was privatizing all the companies oh. and he invested in companies and then discovered all the corruption and he actually sued some of the oligarchs really? and eventually that suit led to Putin. It is the most extraordinary story. Wow. He got out with his life. It's incredible that he is alive. Yeah. But his lawyer was killed and he has spent the last eight years trying to get justice for his lawyer who was killed. Kidding. This reads, if Tom Clancy wrote this, it yeah. would be a number one bestseller. Red Notice, do not miss it. Phenomenal. That does sound good. Next favorite, and obviously true story. Mm -hmm. Next uh, favorite nonfiction, David McCullough, who is famous for so many biographies, uh, Truman, probably mm -hmm. the most mm -hmm. famous one, has just written a story about the Wright brothers and their whole, of course, they changed the world by uh, inventing Flights. airplanes, mm -hmm. flight, an amazing story. Again, it just reads so if it was Very fiction, nice. it would be phenomenal. Okay. He's probably the best biographer alive today. Phenomenal. Um, I have a little book here by J.K. Rowling yeah. of um, uh, Harry Potter fame. It's called Very Good Lives, and I'm recommending this for any graduate or anybody really? starting a business. Uh, J.K. Rowling gave a speech at Harvard to the graduating students, turned into this little book, Very Good Lives. Oh, is that what I that have is? read it so many times, it is unbelievable. Lovely, okay. Now we're on to fiction, yes. fabulous fiction. Kent Haruf, one of the great fiction writers who died recently, little book called Souls in the Night. The premise of this book is very simple. Two people live beside each other, one widow, one widower, and one evening the woman takes herself next door and suggests to the gentleman, would he like to come and sleep with her one or two nights a week? Oh. Not romantically, just as friends, so that they would each have someone to talk to. The story wow. is absolutely beautiful, guaranteed to be a movie. Oh, that's lovely, okay. And the next one I already know is gonna be a movie because I actually tried to oh. buy the rights to this book. I really? love it so much. It's called The Nightingale. It is the story of two young Catholic sisters during Nazi-occupied Germany. One joins the resistance, the army resistance. The other, who lives in a small town outside Paris, the Nazi captain in her village chooses to billet with her. Oh. And it's the relationship between her and the Nazi captain, the, the story of resistance, and the sister story that goes on. Yeah. But the incredible thing is that this novel, The Nightingale, was actually the, the main character, the resistance character, is after the woman who was, the young woman who was, the most impressive resistance fighter in all of Nazi occupied so France. So based her. on a true story. So wh what was it about this that you said this is going to be a fantastic film? Oh, I already know it's going to be a movie because I tried to buy, I love this story yeah. so much, I tried to buy the rights and it has already been purchased and it's going to be a so movie. So you just knew when you read it it was oh, like something oh, special. Wow. This book, my husband read this and he was crying the last half, wow. he was crying. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, unbelievable story. Now I've got a couple of books. One, uh, my teen pick is called Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Girl. It's going to be a movie. Mm -hmm. It's going to be phenomenal. This is the book for 13-year-olds, uh, 12, 13, 14-year-olds to read this summer. Incredible high school story. A kind of quirky. Very quirky. Kid decides he hates high school. He's actually uh, going to make a movie. And then his mom forces him to be friends with a young girl who has cancer. The funniest book about cancer and dying you'll ever read. <laughs> Going to be a movie phenomenal. Okay. My six to eight year old recommendation is called Sisters. It is naturally about sisters by the fabulous woman who wrote Smile. I which love was the also cover. This is so pick. cute. Oh, unbelievable. So great uh, seven year old readers are eight and nine year olds. It's a graphic novel. Oh, it it's is. graphic, oh. yes. It looks like cartoons. It is wonderful oh. reading and it is beautifully written. Look, Do not miss this for seven and eight year olds. It all has, yes, yes, it, it's filled right. with, it looks like comics. And for anyone who thinks graphic novels are not as good to read as real books, trust me, they are this absolutely really phenomenal. And then the book I wow. have to recommend for yeah. two, three, and four year olds. So cute. Melvis and Elvis. This is Dennis Lee of Alligator oh, Pie. Oh, of course. And this is poetry that is so amazing. Oh. I have nine grandkids. I read to them all.
all the time. This poetry book is charming, charming, charming. And this, I love these with oh, Dennis oh, Lee, too. You're going to know that the illustrations are going to be great. The illustrations are magnificent. Do not oh, miss this poetry book. This. And of course, the adults are going to love the poetry as much as the children. Oh, the How illustrations lovely. are fabulous. Well, when you say Dennis Lee, I had to pop inside. Oh, you had to. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. You know, alligator pie. Yeah. Alligator pie. Well, these are just phenomenal. And then my final recommendations are my two cookbooks for this okay. season. One is called Genius Recipes and is actually a collection of recipes from 51 of the great chefs around the world. I oh, absolutely wow. adore this book and we have a true foodie who uh, oversees all of our cookbooks at Indigo yeah. and she says she's tried so many of the recipes Inside are absolutely it? Is that phenomenal. Right? Absolutely phenomenal. What a collection. Yeah. Oh, it's unbelievable. Everybody from Otto Lenge to Alice Waters, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So it truly collection. is an international collection. An international collection, a phenomenal collection and the title of the book is Genius Perfect. Recipes. Love it. And then finally I have to say this is a recommendation again that comes from our foodie, not me because I am a vegetarian, but <laughs> this is the ultimate, the absolute, I am told, the ultimate barbecue book for this summer for everybody oh, I love who wants this. to a get up. A meat smoking manifesto. A meat smoking manifesto <laughs> and I have a feeling this is the great Father's Day gift for everybody who wants to sort of get into it and do the is sort of the barbecue thing, but uh, I love I say, the variety and different ages, and also different a ages. Bit of food is so nice. But Red Notice, that just sounds awesome. Absolutely, do not do not miss Red Notice. Do not miss it. In fact, I, I don't I know how you narrow it down to even this. And the Nightingale. <laughs> Thank you Wonderful. so much for coming in, Heather. Thank you. Just fantastic. You will find all of Heather's recommended titles on our website, CanadaAM.CTVNews.ca.